What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And this is the first episode um, recording after I come back off of the Christmas break. So even though you guys won't hear this for about another few days, I hope you're all fit and healthy and had a good break over Christmas. So I think now is a good time to have a bit of a broader view of the campaign. So, start with who we're at war with. We're at war with Sweden, which is obviously a bit of a problem down here in southern Italy, southern France, and Italian borders. So, I've got some some chaps over here I need to take out. We're also at war with the Ottomans, so Venice is becoming further at risk. We are at war with the British, who are probably going to be very frustrating because we can attack, attack Tunis and capture this territory. We're also off of the coast of Tripoli. So ideally, whoever wins here, I'd like to rapidly shift over to the west to capture Algiers, because there is a British stack ready to attack us. And we also have the British Navy is actually blockading our port with a fairly small fleet, actually. A fleet, a large numbers of lower quality ships. And we do have a navy here, but I do want to spend a bit of time beefing it up a bit. So we're earning, even without trade, we're earning about 13,000 gold a ton. So I think knocking out the British is a good first step to get rid of all of their ships. Then also probably rebuilding an, or building an army up here in London, ready to launch attacks on into Sweden, or into Swedish territory in Europe. We've also got an Italian, this Italian army down here, which has fought the Swedes. They're going to push up and threaten Paris. I'd also probably like to move these chaps out of here, if I can, which I can, forward to Madrid, because I fear if I move this army north, forces may start to move in this direction, so I want someone to act as a bit of a goalkeeper for Madrid. They've also got the question of attacking into the Americas, because the Mughals have taken a lot of territory, so we probably want to grab some of these territories ourselves. But I think... I think really we need to break the back of uh, Sweden first. It's unfortunate we're at war with the Ottomans. Because once we've taken Cairo, and unfortunately we missed the Battle of Cairo. Um, but that's broadly where we are. We're trying to counter blockade um, the Ottomans. But right now I think we need to just take these territories. Right now we can't actually kill the Brits because they own these two territories here, so we may have to defeat their navies in actual ship combat, which isn't a problem. Just means I will want to spend some money beefing up this navy. So, everything looks like it's all been done. Let's have a look at our tech. Okay, to get a modern university in, in Rome, which I think we're building. We are building. Four more turns. I am tempted to knock this weavers on the head and get ready to build a school here because it will take a few turns to get rid of some of this resistance to foreign occupation but it will be worth it because we currently only have two universities which is not very many. And I may actually upgrade this chap to a Jesuit college. And I think there's no one else we can actually trade with. We can trade with Denmark maybe. Nope. Let's see if I can actually make, not present state gift, let's see if I can make peace with the Ottomans. Good. I am happy holding Cairo on the border. Oh, this is our, one of our rakes. I might actually send this rake to walk into Jerusalem. So this army is ready to attack Tripoli. Well, you will attack Tunis. I'm not going to let sit here and let them be too frustrating. I'm not going to end the turn. You're going to keep running around the action. Okay, let's take this army, hit Tunis, and let's go and knock out one of these British holdings on the North African coast. Because it is important that we do, against a faction like Britain that has limited holdings, we do want to keep pressing them 
in order to not lose our momentum. Because over the last few parts we've gained quite a lot of momentum and done some real damage. Okay. Come out as close to fire. Quick lime. Get my guns up here to blast. Just long range round shot. Let's create one division here. Let's create another division here. General can be on the left. Now where is that reinforcing army coming from? I suspected as much. So one army can push one army can push the main force these quick climb guys actually you don't need to worry about this reinforcing army so much because they are actually quite small to keep our gunners engaging How it says, just continue to drop quick climb, not necessarily onto the mortars. You guys form a bit of a, a bit of a flank. Good, our men are getting up into position. Let's get these guys over here. I assume that's a bit too many. There we go. So my, my intention was if we push their infantry body. Okay, good. You guys can pivot to provide some defense for the howitzers. These men are more than adequate to tear apart severe overkill to destroy that reinforcing section. There we go, let's keep. Keep pushing up our men. Quick climb firing. <laughs> that unit reinforcing unit is definitely dead. Obviously, I wanted to intercept these guys before they hit my line. Keep. Keep pushing the line. You guys push one flank, you guys push the other. This regiment of militia is probably going to die pretty soon. Um, I kind of trailed off actually part way through my... No, garrison colonial line. Bad thing to charge my general into, but... General back out of the way. Push these guys up to the top of the hill. Everyone's happily engaging. Because I'm winning against the militia. Let's 
get all of our artillery to hit the surviving infantry. To be honest, let's do something like this. Let's send an infantry unit to run. They can take these positions one at a time. Move on, hit the next mortar. So apparently when they're shattered, someone did tell me actually, during the break, that when they're shattered they will disappear from the campaign map. You don't actually have to chase them down. If they're routing, they will remain. But if they're shattered, then the account is destroyed, which will be part of the reason why we see so many units, so many armies get absolutely obliterated um, without having actually done all the damage on the map. It's the eleventh shattered should be should be gone. Okay, it's tempting, tempting speed up right now because all that's going to happen is we're going to be dropping artillery onto this square formation. This 97 infantry is more than adequate to uh, take the fight to the enemy gunners. It looks like we might actually see a bit of gunplay with the remaining armies. This poor field artillery regiment. Yep, cut down in their prime to the last man. I'm going to win the battle there because that was quite a comprehensive victory. They lost 300 men. They everyone destroyed, including the reinforcing army. So they've got a theatre, which is good. Tatooine has not been developed, but I do have my priest here, so we don't have to worry about. This area just being a theatre. Um, but yes, so I do want to keep reinforcing my armies again on the Swedish front and also growing my navy to get ready to knock out the British armies, or the British navies, one after another. And also to generally just build up capacity elsewhere. Because right now I have one navy and it's in the med, and right now I've got a big Atlantic coast with all of the opportunity that provides. Ooh, intercept. Yes. Um, because I do, I, I will at some point need to fight the Mughal Empire, both in the Americas and in India. And I think that definitely means I need to have control of at least Central Europe. Because Central Europe makes a ridiculous amount of tax income. Um, but no, let's, let, okay, let's, let's watch them at us. So we don't have much in the way of field artillery, which isn't too bad. Let's put unit of marines in the warehouse. Actually, in which case I might want to deploy my line like so. They lose a bit of field of fire, but they also don't have the marines shooting them in the back. Anchor another unit on the flank. Let's group up our cavalry on the left. Let's pick up our remaining infantry, line them, fill the gap up to the town. And these drabs of men, they are our final reserves. Yep, yeah, just withstand the attack. They are attacking us, so don't worry about getting a, being on the offensive. We're round shot. We're firing round shot from the beginning to try and see if we can knock out any of these horse artillery teams. Five 
first rounds are coming in. Hopefully, oh, I was hoping the Dragoons would walk on a bit further. Yeah, we did hit some gunners. Always forget someone. Okay, let's group our strong cavalry together. Let's keep our weak regiment of horse back. So who are they hitting? Ah, oh, not the town, not the warehouse. Eh, you know what? I might actually. Okay, let's take you guys with the guys in the warehouse. Let's form a new battle line and get ready to go on the offensive. I don't just want to get shelled in the town. So they do have some extra troops hidden. That's right. Come on in. Because I've got the. I'll beat you in a cavalry fight. Especially when. These guys are going to get. Picked apart. Drop in a square. What's the. You call that a cavalry charge? That's not a cavalry charge. Well, if you want to surrender your cavalry advantage, that's okay. Switch on to quick switch into quick climb and start getting ready to disable some of the colonial line units. No, you get back. Deploy some of our cavalry round back here and start to intercept some of their cavalry and also hit their artillery. Some good quick climb hits. Okay, let's. Belay that order. It's got a cavalry running because they spot the danger. Okay, let's move to intercept the desert warriors. Units hit the dragoons. Let's also hit their other Let's hit their other men in the flank, and let's also push guys up. It's actually a really funky position we're in. Some of you intercept Colonial Dragoons before they get on the move. about to find themselves in a world of hurt. No, you can 
after the cavalry, the artillery rather. Can you go here? the left wing back push the men up formation kind of split into two halves now go on lad you hit the light horse Okay, the light horse is shattered. Everyone come back after this regiment of dragoons. Quick climb shots are still coming in. Amazons. Let's go on over how it says to start plinking at the general's bodyguard. Keep firing on the 20th, hopefully make them shatter. Send our cavalry out to do some raiding. It's most all of you except okay, you have a task. March back up to the centre. Let's bring them up. Send someone to assassinate the general. You chase down the warriors, bring everyone back up. There we go. Can you hit the Amazons? Turn off our howitzers because they're now a bit too much of a liability. You guys stop firing. You're going to hit that unit of militia. All my cavalry are now committed. Shattered, shattered, hit the 62nd. Shattered, hit the 15th. Yeah, they too are shattered. Well, now people may just open fire in the name of killing everyone. I am going to continue. I'm going to continue attacking because they are a mobile force that can do some damage in ways we don't necessarily want them to do. Actually, I might bring you guys to bear now, actually. Just keep killing them. You may as well, these guys may as well get a couple more bars of experience. Just keep clicking everyone, keep everyone engaged. Uh, you could kill the 62nd as well.
There we go, nice. Everyone against this one guy. Two guys, sorry. Two fellas. Oh no, just the one. Slaughtering them. Close victory. That wasn't close. It was a good win. I'm not going to pretend it was anything, anything less. There you go. They've been destroyed. This army was never going to hold. So let's just let them take Algiers. This army's job is to retreat because they're cavalry. They're not going to be able to move out of Algiers. They may march west towards Morocco, which would be frustrating. So maybe I might want to start just bulk. Bulk, bulk recruiting troops in Morocco. Getting ready to respond. I do need to be building up an army in the British Isles in order to be ready for the inevitable... Uh, well, to get ready for the push onto Sweden, in, into uh, Swedish-held territory. But like I said, I do need to open up my ports. I could probably do that now with my navy. What any of you guys definitely could do it with my navy. Because I'm... So I'm only... Being as slow as I am because I'm a bit pants. Let's try to demand surrender. Okay, you guys just hunker down. This navy here. To be honest, those fifth rates, I might just steal them. Then this navy here can go to Toronto. Where they can be ready build up their forces. This navy is going to go hit the Royal Navy laying siege to my port. Let's take Vito Spero. Reinforce. Let's take Tangiers. Let's pick up some native African line. It's not as good, but then again we don't necessarily need the best. If, can I move you guys out? If I exempt you from tax, I can. Especially if I rebuild some of your buildings. You guys replenish and head east. You can march up with these Hussars. Okay. So what do I want to do? What do I want to do? It's only a matter of time before they advance on us. Question is, is do I what's well, bouncy do I go on the offensive? I think the answer's probably gonna be yes. So if I hop out of Milan. You can take two men. Realistically, you can take more than that. Combine my strongest troops into one army. You put Tier in under siege and see if you can lure them into the attack. You guys can march. Raid Toulouse. Raid Bordeaux. Not Bordeaux. Bordeaux Vineyards. March up to Poitou. And get ready to put Paris under siege. Steam dry dock in Naples. That means I get steamships. Or maybe not. Yep, lost our years temporarily. We got reformed naval administration, which I'm probably going to want to switch to. Maybe copper bottoms to reduce upkeep. Increases recruitment. Well, oh, increases recruitment by a lot. Okay, let's not do that yet. Let's do preserved foods. Carronade isn't directly useful to us at the minute. Interchangeable parts. That's what we're talking about. Reduce upkeep across the board and gain a bonus to town wealth across the board. The other guy is still going down. Steam pumped land drainage. <sighs> Got some more Swiss guards recruited. So let's march these guys up to Genoa. Marcia. 
you guys might march down to Tangiers rather than Spain. Okie dokie, so we're two grand down on recruitment or um, not recruitment on our income. But let's take our navy, go hit Duncan Williamson. There we go. And looking at the timer, it's time to win the episode. And I know this is massive overkill, but I need to overwhelm them because there is now... There are three full British stacks need to take care of. Um, so I want to group all my eggs in one basket, so to speak, so I can keep them all alive rather than three smaller eggs, which I'll probably lose. But yes, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the opening up of our trade lanes. Cheers, everyone.